Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 7, turning silver and gold into green. When we come back, the Cable 8 News Business Report after the break. Don't go away. A local antique and estate sale business is now looking to collect and buy your precious metals and jewelry that may have lost its sentimental value, but at the same time could still put cash in your pocket. It's the subject of this week's Cable 8 News Business Report, so let's roll it. As a kid, I uh, would rather go dig an old farm dump versus mm -hmm. uh, going hunting or something. My dad was into hunting and stuff, and I always seem to be able to find an old farm dump to dig or something when he take me out so it's just an interest I think I was born with and I just build on it. And ever since then Ellis Hollenbeck has been building on his business as owner of Hollenbeck Antiques and Estate Sales now located on West Main Street in Frewsburg and just recently Hollenbeck started buying silver and gold as well as coins and flatware which he inspects sorts and weighs before giving you a price quote. If it's not marked it doesn't always mean it's not gold or silver. I mean, some of the earlier stuff just isn't marked. Um, we do acid tests on it, density tests, so I can tell you exactly what you have. You know, if it's a if it's an unmarked ring, I mean, it can be you know anywhere from 10 carat up to you know 22 carat. In addition, Hollenbeck has continued to thrive on its estate sales business the past five years, doing 40 last year alone. And while they still buy rare and unusual furniture and antiques, the business itself may be showing signs of old age, as the economy has hit that industry pretty hard, coupled with a declining clientele. The younger generation doesn't seem to have an interest in antiques as uh, their mom and you know their parents had. Um, they just don't have the interest which is one of the reasons why the business is looking to cash in on a booming metals market. It's, it's tough for a lot of the small shops to stay in business. Um, I probably wouldn't open this shop if it wouldn't have been for the gold and silver. Um, it's just you can't hardly make enough on antiques anymore to pay the overhead. Store hours are 11 to 6, Monday through Saturday. And that's this week's Cable 8 News Business Report.